Hey guys, welcome back. Today's an exciting day because I'm gonna do a little unboxing video for you all. Now I apologize if this uh, unboxing video isn't all that great as I don't normally do unboxing videos but uh, thought I'd throw some extra content out to you all. So the first item that I'm unboxing here is the, uh, the Dual M to S adapter plate. Now on my uh, old one Triton TR-186, um, it has a Yamaha 150 um, engine and I don't currently have a jack plate. And so without a jack plate, I need something to mount the power poles to. And apparently I could use this uh, dual M to S adapter plate kit. And it seems like it's pretty straightforward install. It looks like I just need a three quarter inch socket and ratchet along with a three quarter, out, three quarter inch uh, wrench. Now these brackets, um, I don't know, maybe I'm trying to get a weight on them later, but these things, I don't know if you can tell, but they are uh, pretty stout. Um, big piece of uh, metal here. There is uh, no markings on this uh, guy, and so uh, I'm assuming they could go on either side. So I'll look into the instructions uh, as part of the install video. So if you want to see me attempt to install this bracket along with the power poles, uh, make sure you like the video, comment or something to, to let me know that uh, to continue to do these videos. Next up for the unboxing is the, it looks like it's the actual bracket itself. I'm assuming this bracket mounts to that adapter bracket that I just showed earlier. And again, um, looks like it's great quality, very thick metal, very solid. And uh, I think it's gonna hold up well. This one does have uh, some stamping on it. It looks like it has the, uh, the power pole brand. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that with the glare or not. And I want to say there's got to be something on here that shows uh, whether it's the left side or the right side. And so I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to show up in the video here, but there's a little stamping here. Uh, it says uh, S26P. And so I'm assuming that designates one side of the boat. Let's see if the, let's see if the other one has a different stamping. Yeah, and so in this one, it has a S26S. So I'm assuming this one goes on the, uh, the starboard side where the other one goes on the uh, the port port side. And so there is a difference in these brackets. Pretty cool, solid, well packaged. So that was box two of four. And let's get to our uh, third box, which is the, the actual uh, power pole blades itself. All right, I'm sure most of you all can read, but it says shroud inside. And uh, this box took me by surprise because everything that I uh, picked up recently was really heavy. And so this bike was really lightweight. And apparently it's uh, these little shroud things. I'm not sure exactly where they go yet, but uh, this guy is made out of plastic, but still overall pretty solid construction. One of the things I found really interesting with this packaging is they actually taped the screws that I needed to mount these shrouds inside the box so that uh, it doesn't get lost. And so again, well packaged. And the next box is the uh, it's actual hydraulic fluid. And what I liked about it, as you can see in the video, there was like a separator uh, inside the box, I guess, so it doesn't shape on this other stuff that's in there. Inside the box is uh, another bracket. And this bracket, I don't see any type of uh, markings on it, so I'm assuming it's universal. Also in the box is um, some mounting hardware. Looks like some uh, really good materials here, probably marine grade, but it's labeled the install kit and for the hydraulic pump. And lastly, inside the small box that was inside the bigger box, looks like the, uh, the actual pump itself. So this is a, uh, a hydraulic pump that will uh, get mounted inside the boat. But it's got some warning labels. Looks, it says, uh, you probably won't be able to see it. It says uh, finger tightening fit, finger tighten fitting, tighten one quarter turn using a five eighth inch wrench. So it doesn't seem like you need uh, that many tools to install the power poles. It's got some, uh, I'm assuming the pump needs to be powered. So it's got a, a power and a ground wire. Looks like it also has a fuse here. Looks like it uh, has some weather proofing materials. And so uh, I'm assuming this guy, so this will be installed inside the, uh, the boat, uh, the battery compartment area. So all this will stay inside. And uh, I think that 
it's recommended that you um, run this into a uh, power kill switch, which we'll do. Another item that's in the box is uh, these power pole, uh, looks like keyless entries remote. So I think these are activated uh, via Bluetooth. So the first one is just like a key fob, similar to what you have for your car keys. The second item is um, is similar to a key fob. With this guy, it looks like it's got some um, mounting holes. Uh, you can actually screw into something, but I think you can also um, tape this to your console or whatever. Include is a lanyard. This might be double-sided tape, maybe. And then some screws. So it looks pretty straightforward and basic. So that's what I received in the mail today. And uh, that's what's inside those boxes. Uh, I'll do a separate uh, install video. I'm not gonna do a, a full detail explaining how to install it, but I'll try to give some tips here and there and share some, uh, some of the things that I learned. There's some other great YouTube videos that shows you uh, how to ex install them. And uh, just wanted to bring you all along for the ride. And uh, if you didn't see my other video on why I chose uh, eight foot power pole blades, then uh, I'll link it in the description or I'll try to put it on top of the corner there. So if that's something that you're interested in, uh, go check out that video. That's all I got for today, guys. Thanks, I'll talk to y'all later, bye.